Hello my fellow nerds out there, so welcome to Richie and welcome back to Little Red Memories. In the last part, in the last part, oh god, this, I thought it was going to run slower for a second, but, but this, in the last part we went over Dian, uh, memories, I believe, so now, so now we're going to go over, uh, Maya's mem, Maya's memory shards. Place Bonnie shards on the table? Okay, no, this is Bon- So, wait, that one's Bonnie's. So, which one's Maya's? Here we, here we go. We're gonna take a look at Maya's memories to start off this episode. So, it seems to me that entering that door every single time... Well, time will give you a different puzzle that you have to solve. So, so, let's go ahead and see Maya's memories. You place the shards on the table. Oh? They must be around some here somewhere. Yes, just the fungi I need for my experiment. Ugh, no, not this one either. Is there someone else here? Barely anyone comes to this part of the woods. I better check it out just in case. It's gotta be here somewhere. I can feel it. I've never seen her around here before. Excuse me, miss. <clears throat> Are you looking for something? Do you need any help? It's you. Uh, hello. Yes, I do need some help if it wouldn't be a bother. None at all. What's your name? My name is Doe. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Maya. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Miss Doe. Now, what is it you're looking for? I'm looking for a flower. Well, you certainly come to the right place. Any particular flower in mind? Well, I don't exactly know what it's called. It, it has a... It was white with lots and lots of petals. I saw it in a dream. You see... Oh, sorry. I saw it in... A dream, you see. I know that must sound silly, though. Well, that could be a lot of different flowers. The description could fit a sc scabiosa, but those aren't in season at the moment. A hy hydrangea could also be what you're speaking of, but those don't grow in this area. Hmm, you could be looking for a carnation, could you? couldn't be looking for a carnation, could you? Those are fairly common white flowers that grow not too far from here. Yes, yes, a carnation, a white carnation. That, that's what I'm looking for. Do you know where you, I could find one? <coughs> There's a flower field full of them not too far from here. From here, I'd be delighted to show you, Miss Doe. Here, follow me. Here we are, beautiful Di Dianthus Ca Carifilis, as far as the eye can see. Yes, the feeling is getting closer, but which one? She's looking through each flower intensely. How strange, and yet her movements feel so graceful. The way she gently touches each one, each petal, the way she feels the corners of each le leaf. She must really be looking for the perfect flower, I suppose. Here, it's here, I found it! Oh? Isn't she beautiful? This will be perfect. Yes, indeed. Although I'm curious what made you pick this flower among all the rest. <coughs> well, I need a flower for that had the perfect energy for a project I'm working on. A project? And you say you saw this flower in a dream? What sort of project do you need it for? Uh, you only think I'm crazy if I tell you. Hopefully this flower will last long enough. Do you need it to last a long time? Yes, as long as possible. Perhaps I could be of assistance once more to you, Miss Doe. You see, at the time I was furthering my studies on flora and fungi, I had already conducted many experiments on different flowers and attempts to lengthen their lifespan. I should have asked more questions in the start of as to what her project was, but in my mind, I only saw benefits for both of us. For us both. <clears throat> Maya! Maya! Is it almost ready? Ah, oh, Doe, letting yourself in as always. You must, ha you must have patience, dear. I know, I guess I was just excited. You said you could finish it, finish it today, right? I if not, I can wait more. No, no, no need to worry. I'm almost done. 
Just a few more seconds and... Done! This flower should last much, much longer than you could ever expect. Here you go, Doe. <coughs> ah, this will be perfect for my project. Thank you so, so much, Maya. <laughs> I'm glad to be of service. Though I am curious, what is the project you need this for? About? Promised not to think I'm crazy? I promise. Do you believe in parallel worlds, Maya? Parallel worlds? Well, I think they exist. A world just like this one, but with more magic than you could even believe. Truth be told, I knew I needed this specific flower because I saw it in a vision. A vision that also had you in it. I know it sounds completely crazy. Magic, visions, and all that. But I swear, I'm telling the truth. There is, there is really... There really is another world out there, and your, and your house shares the same energy as it. What? what? Slow down, please! Magic, visions, energy? You're springing a lot on me all at once, Doe. Uh, I'm sorry, I just... I, I, um, I've never told anyone about my vi visions before. I'm not even really sure where to start. But you believe me, don't you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You probably think I'm totally insane now. I ruined everything. Wait, Doe! I believe you. There's no need to worry. Just why don't you try explaining again, but from the top? Okay. Everything there was to know about the parallel. She knew about it, about it well in advance. Except, all except one thing. Nevertheless, she became infatuated with the idea of visiting this world. So her project was an attempt to use a mix of her, of her magic and my science to create portal portal swords. Ah, so like alchemy. I thought it was dangerous. I thought it wouldn't work. But the excitement that shone through her eyes when she spoke of it, I couldn't say no to her. Her happiness was contagious. It was also quite addictive. Well, eventually we did manage to create the portal. It took a long time, long, long time. I, I was honestly impressed with both of us. We made a really good team, Doe and I. I never wanted a part with, I never wanted to part with her. I would, I would give anything to spend the rest of my life with such a beautiful angel. <coughs> At first, everything was perfect. Wherever she went in the parallel, I followed. She wanted to turn it into a safe world for those who had nowhere else to turn to. But then we saw the true nature of this world, the true nature of the parallel. The parallel, it started speaking to us, asking us if we wanted to play one of its games. A game of sacrifice. One room after another, one of us had to give up something important to progress forward. Some things we had to give up were small, like personal personal possessions, other times the parallel wanted us to take happy take our happiest memories away. And then we we were separated in one room. One final sacrifice to be made. Oh Jesus <clears throat> Come now Doe, you can't be serious. Sacrificing your life? That's absurd. There are some other ways out of this room. No Maya, you don't understand. I think this puzzle was made just for me. Wait, what on earth are you talking about? Hey now, we've always been able to figure out and uh, figure another way out of how when we ran out of problem ran into problems before, right? There's no need to act so rashly. My whole life is I've been nothing but selfish, using my abilities and my visions to see only what would be the best outcome for myself. Even now, I use your knowledge and skills just to try and accomplish a stupid dream that never would have come true in the first place. And now you're in danger and it's all my fault. Hey, Doe, everything will be okay. I'm here. We're safe. Let's just try to think of this rationally and I... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. But this is the only way I can make things right. It was a pleasure to meet you, Maya. May we... May we meet again in another lifetime. Do wait! I- I- Do. Do had sacrificed herself to save me. I couldn't believe she was actually gone. 
Although, I realized I was in a whole new world. They told me this world held more magic. Oh, Jesus! I studied this world for months, fighting through each room. Each room, desperately trying to find, find a way, any way to bring Doe back. The longer I spent in this world, the more deformed my physical appearance became. Maya is Miss Carnation. <coughs> my own grief consumed me both inside and out. However, I couldn't care less. Doe didn't deserve what happened to her. I didn't care what happened to me. All I wanted was to bring her back. Dogon, I even continued on a dream of trying to make make the people here feel as safe as possible. Wait, wait, Hunter? Excuse me, Miss. Where exactly am I right now? You're in the parallel, my dear. A place in in between life and death itself. Uh, I see the parallel. You say this might be a weird question, but uh, have you seen a woman made Maya Wolf? Maya Wolf. Around here, she disappeared lately, but some some of her last journal writings talked about this parallel. Out of all the people that have foot in here, I never expected to see my nephew. Hun wait, Hunter's your nephew? <clears throat> wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, hold on. So, Miss Carnation is Hunter's aunt? <clears throat> God, if my family learned what I'd become, I would just disappoint everyone. Or even worse, I could put Hunter in danger, too. No, I have not. I'm terribly sorry. Perhaps she left through, through the front doors before before I could meet her. Ah, uh, I see. Oh my, how rude of me. I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Hunter. What might I call you, miss? You may call me Carnation. That's where she got her name. Miss Carnation? Maya? Hunter? Wow, that was a lot. Damn. So Miss Carnation is Maya, and Hunter's her nephew. That means everyone, that means all three of them are connected more than we thought they were. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bonnie's memories. You place the shards on the table. Oh. Diary. I was out with grandmother in town, and I saw other kids had more family members than we do. I asked Granny why her family isn't bigger like theirs are. Why don't I have a mommy and daddy too? She said that I killed my mommy and grandfather, and my daddy never wanted me in the first place. I feel bad. I didn't know that. But I'm happy. I still have Granny. She... Just give, she gives me yummy food and lets me play outside as long as I want. I love Granny so much, and even if I mess up a lot, she still loves me too. Sometimes I hear Granny crying in her room. I don't like it when she's sad or upset. I wanted to be an extra good kid so I can make Granny happy. Then we can be a joyful family together and live happily ever after. Hmm. I'm done with all my deliveries, just time too. Granny will be so happy. Oh, pretty flowers. Maybe I can bring Granny a beautiful bunch of flowers. I'm sure she would love it. Oh, that's sweet of her. Grandmother, look, look what I... Why are you so late? It's nearly sundown. Don't tell me you were slacking on your deliveries. Huh? No, I wasn't. They're all done, just like you told me. What is it then? Flowers? Were you slacking off... Even worse, you straight off the path to pick these? The ones the one thing I told you not to do? But but I your lies and excuses won't work on me. I couldn't care less about how late you are on a normal day. But but you have responsibilities, you know. Your grandfather would be very disappointed in you, throwing his legacy in the dirt. Do you want him to suffer in his grave, Bonnie? And furthermore, you know what happens to little girls who stray off the path. Do you hate me that that much that you'd rather get lost out in the woods or worse? Well, that's fine. 
If I'm such a bad grandmother, then go out in those woods and starve for all I care. Granny, wait, let me in too, please. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean... Her grandmother was abusive. Honestly, I, I'm surprised she didn't leave her grandmother immediately. I just wanted to get you flowers. Please, unlock the door. It's cold. Please let me in. I won't stray from the path again, I promise. Granny never did let me back inside that night. All the doors and windows were locked tight. Even when the rain started pouring down, she wouldn't let me in. She only yelled and screamed more about, about the noise I was making. I remember thinking about, about all the storybooks I read as a child. The ones about princesses in grave danger who end up getting saved by a handsome prince. Every time I got locked out or forbidden from eating, every time I screamed at, I was screamed at beaten and neglected, I couldn't help but think, why won't somebody save me too? Why wouldn't anybody help me? Someone, please, someone, anyone, save me. I don't want to remember this anymore. Please, please make it stop. Please, I'll do anything, just no more. I already have to remember, have to remember too many horrible things. I don't, don't make me remember anymore. Please. Damn. Child's diary, your old diary to be specific. <clears throat> Jump into the mirror. Oh. Wait, can we not read the diary? We can't. I guess we have to jump in. Is that me? Oh, it's you. <clears throat> Can't you go away already? I'm tired of being connected to you. I hate you. I hate you so much. If it weren't for you, mother and grandfather, even grandmother would still be alive. <clears throat> I know. I'm so sorry. Sorry isn't good enough. This is all your fault. Why is it my fault? I never asked to be born. I never asked to be be the start of a horrible chain reaction. If it were up to me, I would have stepped my own, stopped my own birth so they all could have been happy. But I can't control any of that. Then why do I hate you so much? Why do I get this sinking feeling in my gut whenever I look at you? Why does the thought of you make me so nauseous? Whenever I think about it, it feels like I can't breathe, like I'm suffocating and no one will come to help. No one will. It's not fair. I just want my mother. I want to be happy, happy like family, like everyone else. So, someone to love me. Someone who can be proud of me. <laughs> mother, grandfather, hunter. I just want them all to hug me and tell me everything is going to be all right. But that can never happen. <laughs> well, I know my hugs aren't as good as hunters, but. Oh, everything will be okay, Bonnie. Because worst case scenario, even if the whole world feels like it's up against you, you will always have me. I know you hate me. Parts of part of me hates you too. But we can get through this. Maybe not right now, but someday everything will be okay. <laughs> I know, it really, really hurts. But that's why I'm still here in the parallel. I want to stop the hurting for, for us both. Do you promise? I promise. Thank you. Oh. I'll try, at least. I don't want to suffer anymore. Oh. So that, so that was a bit of a moment of self-reflection for Bonnie. Oh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So... So Bonnie's grandmother was really hateful towards her and... All because... All because, uh... Bonnie's mother died after childbirth. And I, 
<clears throat> and honestly, the and honestly, the grandmother was not in her right to do that to Bonnie. I think I think Bonnie had a better right to live her life to the fullest. Okay, so I kind of want. I kind of wanted to do this whole rap puzzle here because I feel like that's going to be required to move on with the story. I just don't really know how yet. Okay, so I have an idea. We're going to go into the... We're going to go back to the real world. And we're going to just look around and see if we can find anything. Okay, we're back in the normal world. around okay wait the eye the lady with the giant eye for a head she said there was no mirrors in that world right maybe we can take this with us oh a hunter told me he's the meaning to hang this mirror up again should i take it with me yes okie doke you got the mirror oh oh wait so that, does that let us skip past irene irene i think that's her name right irene because she's a giant uh, eye for a head Go ahead. Okay, let's go ahead and give the mirror to Irene. I did save in case anything bad happens, so. Ah, is that what I think it is? Is that a mirror I see you in your possession? My, I'm so beautiful. Oh, beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. I'm glad I could help, miss. Um, Would you mind moving out of the way, perhaps? I'm curious what's behind that door. Hmm? Oh, yes, I'll do that in a little while. Come back later. I'll need a few moments to admire myself. It's been so long. Um, uh, sure. Sure, I'll, I, can, I can do that. Oh, the door's locked now. Oh, okay, that, that door is locked, so... Okay, I'm guessing we're gonna have to tackle another puzzle. At, at, least, I'm, at least I'm guessing we have to. Me... me Maybe we can go back to the real world and uh, try to find some food for the rats. Oh, I I, fi I figured it out. Here, take this, miss. Here, take this, miss. It's the finest aged cheese we have here in the parallel. I saved it just for you. Thank you very much, sir. You got old cheese. It smells awful, but I don't want to be rude. Wait. <sighs> oh, it's one of those rats like cheese things. Okay, so we gotta give the rats this cheese, I suppose. I, I was looking around the parallel and I found it, so I had to... Okay, so now... Touch the flower. Whoop! Back to the parallel we go. Okay, so... I believe it's in here? Yeah! Hello! You can hear a faint squeaking coming from the hole. Put the old cheese in the hole? You hear more squeaking. They sound happy. Oh. Okay, well, I'm guessing that's... That was the simplest thing I could have done. And I didn't even figure it out that I had to talk to the yellow guy. Hello. The rats, say thank you. I say thank you as well. Take this, little red. You got a room key. Thank you, sir. Room key. Ooh, save it every opportunity. Trust me. You never know when something will. You never know when something is going to go wrong. Okay, so is Irene gone? Nope, she's still there. Right. I'm, guessing, I'm guessing the room key goes to here? Door's locked now. No. Um, can we talk to Carnation? Are you able to talk to her this time? Oh. Hello, Miss Bonnie. Do you need anything? Why is there a flower in your head? Where are your thoughts from the others here? I'm tired. Can you tell me more about the girl you mentioned? 
Um, let's go with the fourth one. She had quite a knack for magical abilities, unlike anything I've ever seen. I was able to work... She was able to work with me to create portals to, to and from this world. She had hoped that it could become a pla place of peace for lost souls who had nowhere else to turn to. She sounds lovely. She really is. The most loveliest person there is. Hmm. Uh, why is there a flower on your head? Ah, I've been led to think it has something to do with the parallel dis dis digesting me. Digesting you? No need to worry, Miss Bunny. I've been in the parallel for a long, long time. It only makes sense my physical form would become altered after this long. I, I, I don't understand. If the parallel is hurting you, why don't you just leave? Everyone here is here for a reason, Miss Bonnie. That is all I can say. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on the others here? I try to take care of them all as all the best I can. They all have their quirks, but they've got nowhere else to go. Poor things. Uh, I'm tired. I'm really tired. This place is both physically and mentally draining. I see. I completely understand. Do you want to rest here for a bit, then? I'll keep watch to make sure no harm comes your way. Huh? You would really do that for me? But of course! Here, let's sit down over there. Aww. That's so cute! Rest for as long as you need, alright? Thank <sighs> Thank you. You took a short nap next to Carnation. I'll rest up, Miss Bonnie? Yes, thank you very much. But of course, come back anytime you're feeling unwell, alright? Oh. Okay, so we got a room key now, but we but we have no idea where the room key goes. Okay, um I'm gonna save here so I don't need to run all the way from the right side to this area. Okay, let's go back in. Door is locked now. Wait, it's locked? It can't go in. So this is one of the tables where I put the memory shards. I hope I can find them all soon. I need to get randomly teleported here again out of nowhere. Oh. Wait, since I took that nap, is Irene gone? Nope. Hmm? Oh, it's you. I told you I would move in just a moment. Unless you've come to admire my beauty as well. What are your opinions on the others? Hmm. The only one who knows how to treat a lady right is Miss Carnation. All those hat wearers disgust me, especially the blue one. And don't even get me started on that piece of garbage. You mean garbage Gary? <clears throat> I, I need to look my at myself more to to distress, to de-stress. Um, how can I be as beautiful as you? Oh, aren't you a darling? Well, for starters, I think it would do you good. Do you good to not to hide, not to hide under that cloak of yours so much. The world deserves to see more beautiful faces like yours. <coughs> Aw, thank you so much, Miss. Although you never be as beautiful as me. Hmm? Did you say something, Miss? Uh, it's nothing. Okay, so how long do I wait for you to look at yourself? The door is locked now. <clears throat> okay, where does this room key go to then? Oh wait. No, the kitchen's probably still under construction, I'm assuming. Yep. We have a room key. A mysterious room key. It smells like garbage. Ew. Okay, I can't go that way. Wait, maybe it has something to do with the overworld? Whoop! Hmm. No. 
Wasn't there a door that was locked over here? Use the room key. Yeah! Oh. Oh, it's another portal! Ooh. Okay. Yes, I can save. Oh my god. Okay, so I feel like we're gonna have to touch this flower to get back to the other world. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I just have that weird feeling. Okay, let's go ahead and touch the flower. Wait, is this like the flower carnation let me use? Oh? Don't touch that flower. If you like flowers, my dear, I'd be happy to get you something fresher. Something even more beautiful than this. Hunter! I'm sorry, but why can't I touch it? Wait, Hunter has been to the parallel too. Maybe I can ask him about it. Uh, that would not be a good idea. But then, maybe he would only get more concerned if he knew I'd been there too. Oh, it's silly. It's just a certain sentimental value to me. That's all. Oh, apologies for acting at, for acting out there. <laughs> Say, Bonnie. How did you get in this room in the first place? I could have sworn it was locked. If I if I locked a door in this house, it's for a reason, my love. So how did you get in? Uh I I found a key in a trash can and got curious. That's there's no need to lie, my dear. I'm not angry with you. I just want to know the truth. Someone gave it to me. Oh dear. Who? I don't think you would believe me if I told you. Oh, Bonnie. You went to the parallel, didn't you? You... you know about the parallel too? Oh, thank goodness, I thought you were going, going to think I'd gone crazy. My sweet bunny, why didn't why didn't you come to me sooner? That place is da is beyond dangerous. I could have be been there to protect you. You're not mad? How could I ever be mad at you for something that wasn't your fault? If anything, I'm mad at the parallel for dragging you into its clutches. I know it's scary. It can be it can I know how scary it can be down there. I gave someone in the parallel the spare key to this room. In hopes that you wouldn't accidentally find you wouldn't ever accidentally find it. <clears throat> but I should have known it would find you eventually, given all that happened. So sorry, Bonnie. I should have kept a closer watch over you so this would have never happened. Hunter, you have nothing to apologize for. If anything, I'm sorry you had to endure that world as well. But I'm almost done collecting all the memory shards. I need to escape that place forever. You accident- You actually went to collect the memory shards? Oh dear. Thank goodness you're still alive. Are you really sure you want to do that? You know, whenever I got get stuck back in, I I simply use a flower to immediately come, come back here. It would be a much safer alternative. I'm so close though. I only have one more shard left to find. <coughs> Hunter! Maybe if we, if we find the last memory shard, then both of us can escape the parallel forever. If we both walk out those doors, then we'll be safe, right? <clears throat> I, I don't know, Bonnie. No one act, has actually seen what's beyond those doors. It could be another trap. Oh. Well, I think it's still worth a shot. All I want is for this whole nightmare to be over. I just wish to live he here with you long without being scared of getting stuck, stuck there again. This might be the only chance. Well, if that's what you wish, then I'm coming with you too. Really? But, of course, but of course, someone's got to protect you out there and that someone will be me. <clears throat> I'll follow you to the ends of the earth if it calls, calls for it, my love. You can count on me to keep you safe. Hunter, join the party! Oh! Oh, that's so nice! 
So cool. So we have Hunter in our party now. All right, let's go ahead. Touch the flower. It's gonna be a point of no return, I'm assuming. Yes. Parallel study. Oh. Hello, Miss Pony. Do you need anything? Have you and Hunter met before? Yes, we have, but it has been a long, long time. I'm very glad to see you both wish to escape this place forever. Oh, about that. Are you absolutely certain if we leave through those doors, we, would, we won't ever come back here again? It is the best chance you have. In my opinion, there seems to be no other way out. But what's on the other side of those doors? I wish I knew, but if I did, I wouldn't be here right now. My apologies. Oh, that that is a that is a good reason. Hey, look at that! Me and Hunter. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be so fun. So I'm assuming. Oh, there's a guy dragon. Oh, little red. You brought a wolf. Don't hurt the rats. They are friends. Uh, okay. Hi, little red. Do you want any garbage? Um, no thank you. I I'm good. I see. Do you get along with the others here? Others... Disgusting. Miss Carnation is fine. But others... I spent... I spent time with trash more... More pleasant. <laughs> oh god. Is it safe to say that I love that character? Just the garbage can dude? Okay, the door is locked now. Oh wait, does that mean, is Irene gone? Nope, Irene's still there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Who are you talking to, miss? Why myself, of course. Have you not seen anything more beautiful in your entire life? Eh, <laughs> you're much more beautiful than my opinion, buddy. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I'm assuming this door is unlocked? The door is locked now. Okay, well, that door is locked. I need to find one last memory shard, but where do I find it? Um. Maybe it's across this way? I really don't want to step in the blood. Okay, fair. Um. Hmm. So what, but what are we supposed to do now? Wait, maybe the, wait a second, maybe the kitchen's finally opened up. Maybe we can finally, finally go into the kitchen. Yeah, finally, the note's gone. This is the only place I haven't been to yet. The last memory shard should be here, somewhere in here. Well, stay close to me, all right? I don't want you getting hurt in here. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's two save points. Oh, that's good, that's good there's two, that's good there's two. You can never be too careful when it comes to puzzles like this. The way the statues are arranged seems strange, does it not? How so? Is it because of the symmet symmet symmetry? No, no, it's not. It's not that. I think the forma formation vaguely reminds me of a family tree. That's all. Oh, it kind of does now that they look at it. Oh, no, then you mention it. Oh, I kind of skipped it. Wait, maybe I can actually. It be oh well, whatever. It feels very eerie. Oh, I hear breathing. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> um, okay, I guess we can go with the center door first. Oh. The Roe family tree. From top to bottom, left to right. 
Dasiana Row, Leverett Row, Angelique Row, Bonnie Row. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to remember this. Uh, okay, let me take a let me take a picture of this real quick then. Is it the text box would stop flickering? Jesus. Wolf, wolf family tree. From top to bottom, left to right. Maya wolf, Patera wolf, Ember wolf, Hunter wolf, Artemis wolf. Does, does Hunter have a son? Hmm. These look so comfortable to sit on, and if only they weren't covered in blood. It's probably for the best that we don't sit on them anyways. It could be some sort of trap. A couch trap? That would be mean, taking advantage of my tiredness. Oh, are you tired, Bonnie? I can carry you if you wish. <laughs> Maybe later. If I know we we should focus on getting out of here for now. Okay. Top to bottom, left to right. Hmm. Okay, let me think. So the bottom door didn't really bring any new information. So maybe the top three doors can bring something that we don't know. Oh, wait a second. I didn't look at the pictures, did I? Can I actually look at the pictures on the bottom floor? Can I actually look at them? Oh, I can! Oh. And then the wolf family tree. Oh, wait. Oh. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> she, even if it's a little stain, she really doesn't like stepping in the blood, I assume. Uh, let's go in here. Okay, nope, I hear crying. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. I'd rather save for that. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be stressful. Oh, 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 this is going to be... This is going to be terrifying, ain't it? No rats in this hole. Welcome back. <coughs> Pink bunny doll on a chair. It looks familiar. And shall we like to take a seat? Uh, no. Knowing this game, I'd rather not. I am a very cautious boy. <laughs> Experience of playing horror games has taught me that. Okay, maybe this door? What's in door number two? Oh. Various murder mystery books stuck, stuck in the shelves. Nothing in the drawers. One of the books has a piece of paper which inside of it. B M H L. B M H L. B M H L. I'm assuming that's gonna be a code for something. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of that. The game was not flickering, Jesus. B M H L. What could these mean? Perhaps it's some sort of clue. I feel like it's gonna be for the puzzle up ahead. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Bonnie, I think I can take the, down some of these paintings. If there's anything you'd like to see better, let me know. Wait, B H L B A B M L H. Bonnie something Hunter Levert? 
Here you go. Huh? Is something wrong? Oh, no, no. Nothing's wrong. It's just that the number 8 is written on there. Oh, it's a letter to number code! Oh, that's so clever. Okay, okay. So, wait. B-M-H-L. B-M-H-L. Let me... B M H L. So Bonnie is eight. So Bonnie is the, the letter, the number eight. So each of the letters is gonna stand for some for some le uh, number. Oh, this. I I really love codes like these. It's it's really it's really fun to do these kinds of things. Okay, so. See. Okay, let's go with Le Leverett. Here you go. The number two is on the back of it. Okay, so eight something something two. Wait. Wolf family tree. From top to bottom, left to right. Maya wolf. Oh wait, Bonnie, Maya, Hunter, Leverett. That's probably it, right? Maya Wolf, Patera Wolf, Ember Wolf, Hunter Wolf, Artemis Wolf. Okay, uh, Maya Wolf. Here you go. What? Is something wrong? I don't know. The number three is written in the back, so eight, eight, three, something, two. Okay, Hunter. Number nine, eight, three, nine, two. Eight, three, nine, two. Got it. Ah, I'm, I am so smart. Eight, three, nine, two. Eight, three, nine, two. Okay, let me just save. Look what needs some sort of combination. Eight, three, nine, two. Yeah! It opened. Let's see what's inside. Got a room key. Oh, wait. Wait. The... Okay, so I'm assuming it's going to be the top door that's going to be where the key goes to. Or maybe not. It could be one of these bottom two doors. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode, this little episode here for now, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment what you think, share this with you, your friends, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single notification. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. You say you want to try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason.